Hello and welcome, I'm your Kudmaki. Oh wow, so this is definitely unexpected. Unity and Unreal working together? I heard rumors the day before that someone special was going to appear on Sage, but honestly I never expected Tim Sweeney to show up, very surprising. So yeah, Unity and Epic are working together in two ways. First is with in-app purchases. You might know that Epic has been fighting with Google and Apple to get rid of that massive 30% cut they take, and they have succeeded in forcing some changes. Now as far as I know, you can avoid the 30% cut if you don't use their payment services. I'm not too familiar with Mobile World, but I believe that's the case. So when that really happened, Unity took their IEP program and it made it available on pretty much all platforms. It works directly with Stripe, so I believe you just pay something like 5% and not the massive 30%, so that's a much better deal. And early next year, this system will also be available to Unreal Engine devs. And funnily enough, maybe what kicked this whole thing off was a tweet from Game from Scratch. Basically, Unity announced those new native cross-platform tools. And then with that, Mike said how this is a massive thing for Unity creators and it may all be thanks to Tim Sweeney. To which Tim Sweeney replied that Unity should bring the payments SDK to Unreal Engine and Godot as well. And then Matthew Bromberg, so the CEO of Unity, said, yep, we'd love to bring payments to Unreal Engine. So yeah, that's crazy. This little tweet conversation might have been responsible for such a massive deal. Apparently with this, the two CEOs got to talking and now we have these news. So you can use Unity's in-app purchase system in a games made with Unreal Engine. That's awesome. But the bigger news for Unity devs is actually the second part. So Tim announced that games made with Unity would be available on the Fortnite ecosystem. Now this is potentially super huge news. Fortnite is absolutely massive, it has over 500 million registered accounts, and there's about 100 million monthly active users. And soon, apparently, you won't be able to make a game made with Unity and expose to that massive audience. Nowadays, one of the biggest challenges for game devs is always discoverability. It's really hard to find players to play your game. So the fact that they just opened up a new avenue to reach an extra 500 million people, that is absolutely huge. I can definitely see how a year from now, reading an article about how some game made with Unity and published on Fortnite reached the top of the charts and is making millions of dollars. So pretty much just like it already happens with some custom game modes in Fortnite or custom game modes in Roblox. In fact, that is probably the reason behind all this. Roblox is absolutely massive. It's actually crazy how big it is. In case you don't know, Roblox has about 380 million monthly active users. That is a staggeringly insane amount. So yeah, Fortnite is definitely trying to compete with this. And I'm guessing that's why this happened. So this collaboration with Unity might be the thing that puts Fortnite above Roblox. But whatever the reason is, the fact that Unity devs might have just gained access to such a massive audience is a massive thing. Now, there are no technical details on how exactly this whole thing is going to happen. There's a blog post on the Unreal Engine blog, but it doesn't really mention anything. It's really just developers won't have the ability to publish Unity games into Fortnite. That's really it, no more details on that. So maybe it's some kind of executable that you can run directly from Fortnite, where Fortnite kind of acts just like a launcher. Or maybe Unity will actually make another build target, one that runs directly inside Fortnite itself. So you have no idea on how exactly all this will work, but it's definitely very exciting for all Unity developers. Like I said, getting access to another massive audience that will hopefully increase the amount of developers that find success. By the way, apologies for my voice. I can barely talk right now after speaking to so many people these past few days. Unite is always super intense, but obviously it's a lot of great fun. Thanks to everyone who came up to me to say hi. Everyone is always super nice, so thanks for that. I'll basically try to rest my voice a little bit and then record the video on the next few days with a recap of everything announced and shown at Unite. Based on the Keynote and Roadmap, the future does look very interesting. Alright, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.